Hey guys, MB here from Roadside Dental Marketing. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a post using Roadside's templates. So what we're looking at here on our screen is my homepage in my Canva account. So once I'm logged into Canva, you can see my face up here showing that me, MB, I'm logged into my account and I'm on home of my account uh, settings. Uh, what you'll usually see on your home is just recent designs or recent things that you've viewed within your Canva. So here's recent designs um, that I have on my home. And just below home, you'll see on this left sidebar, uh, the next option down is projects. I'm gonna click on that. And just below that, I have a folder called social post templates. This is where the roadside templates live for you, where you can access them. And you can see them here on our screen together. And I'll just scroll down and you can see as I'm scrolling down all the different designs. So what I'm going to show you is how to uh, use one of these templates, one of these designs um, for one of your own posts. So I'm going to just click on this first one here. And as soon as I click on it, a new page loads. And this is essentially like my viewing and my editing window for this specific post slash design that I clicked on. And as we look at this design, we can see that it has some background color, uh, has some text on it. And as I'm hovering over it, you can see boxes um, showing me these different elements. Like this box is the text, this is these lines. So I'm just simply hovering. And if I click on one of these, like this text box, I can actually um, begin editing. And you'll notice up here at the top of this window, um, some of these options appear that didn't appear before. So these are options available to edit this specific text box up here. So here shows the font. And then when I click on that, it gives me additional options on the left sidebar. Um, going back to the top, I see size. I can adjust text color, make a bold, italics. I can mess with the alignment, make a list, and I can do different effects. So within Canva, you really have just a, a, an unlimited amount of ways that you can design your own um, posts. So you can use what is already here with Roadside or you can change it up if you like. Um, you can also change the colors. So I personally uh, would change these colors especially if my practice was not um, using branding with the color tones of purple. Like let's say for example, my practice uses uh, color tones that are more blue. I would change uh, the purple to blue tones. So that's just consistent with my overall practices branding and just my overall identity of my brand. And you can do that by just clicking on this box, just like how we clicked on the text box. You can click on this box and then those options appear at the top and right here I can change the background color. There's defaults, I can use gradients, or I can actually type in blue and different blues will come up. Or if I know my hex code, I can uh, type that in or copy and paste it in as well. So for, for this, I'm going to just leave it as it is, but I just want to show you that you can change that color. Just like this element, you can change as well. You can make it blue or whatever your brand's colors are. So for this design, um, this is a, a text-based design. So I could do a few different things with it. I could do a special, like an announcement, or I could do a quote. So let me show you uh, what that would look like. So for this one, Let's say my practice has this special. So I'm gonna paste it in. Get your kids perfect smile from just $189 a month. And I can see that um, it's not fitting perfectly with the line break, so that's okay. I'm just going to adjust it. 
and very easily that just moves down. I'm just clicking on it and sliding down. That looks good to me. And if I want, I can even move these to fit this new text better. You can see how easy that is. And then I want to have just a quick CTA, which is call to action. So I'm going to take my call to action and I'm just going to paste it in. And I want this to be all caps. So I'm just going to retype it. And now see details caption, I'll add a period. And yeah, I'm really liking the way that looks. So I want to make this post about this special that we have going on in our practice. Get your kids perfect smile from just $189 a month. And then I've got a call to action, act now, see details and caption. And I'm gonna to plan to type in um, more info in the actual caption of my post. So this post, the actual image of it is ready to go. Let me show you one other way that you could use the same design but have different content. So we use this special. Let me show you a different way. For this one, I'm going to show a quote. Remember to smile. And I actually want this to be much bigger, so I'm just gonna go, I can click on this plus button up at the top to make it bigger, or I can type in, let's do 150. Hit enter. And let's make that actually one line. It will let me fit. Perfect, I like that like that and it's centered. And then I am going to even make it a little bit smaller. Like that. Same with this, make it a little bit smaller. Just do something cute like that. And then I wanna give reference to who said this quote, which is Nelson Mandela. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that in. And I want to move this up just like that. So just see it small right below it. Perfect. So here is another option of how to use this template slash design, um, but with different content. So for this option, we did it with the quote. Remember to smile. And this is uh, quoted by Nil Nelson Mandela. So there are two different options. I've showed you just one of those designs, how you can use it to create your own content for your own social media posts. Thank you so much for watching.